What's up guys? So here's how you make a clean key. So for example, uh, for 3D printing, I made this head and then I have this key here that fits into the body like that. So this is a key and this is a cut, uh, but it's a bit difficult to get a key like this with the symmetry uh, in the middle. And I'll show you what I mean. So let's say you add a box and there's no way to, unfortunately there's no way to taper, like taper the box. So I thought that if I add a tube and I just make like something like this, I'll make it bigger. I thought that I'd be able to do it this way. So we have a tube. I'm just gonna turn smooth shading off. We have a tube and we'll bring the, the tube topology down to four so that there's four sides. So I was like, okay, like I thought that that would work, but the only problem is the symmetry is like this. And I don't think you can change how, where the symmetry is on a shape. Obviously not gonna work. So I'm gonna take select mask and I'm just gonna go to front make sure I'm in orthographic. So I'm in select mask. I'm just gonna use the rectangle and just sort of mask off the top part. And then I'll take the gizmo and with the bottom part, I'll just make this smaller. And you can see it sort of tapers off. So then I'm just gonna squeeze it to get rid of that end piece like that. So now you have something like this and now we can make it bigger and then you can just stretch it down. You can make it a little bit bigger if you want. So then you have something like this, which is a nice key shape. I'm gonna go to mask and then clear it. And if you want, you can trim the top part, you know, or not. But you can trim the top part like this. And you can adjust it. So I usually use those. So if I was, uh, let's get rid of this tube. You know, I could connect it here and then I could have the, whatever the cut is on the bottom and I could make the cut. Let's do a little practice one. So if I make a cylinder, so let's say we are printing this and we want uh, this head to fit in there. So I'll validate the sphere. I can take these two, I can just join them for now. And I can take the cylinder and validate it. So we wanna, we wanna make so this head will fit snugly in there. So let's take the head, which is the box, let's call it head. And this will be uh, body. So we take that and we position it to where we want it. Maybe even want it a little bigger or something. So what I would do is clone the head. And I would rename this one head X because this is going to be the cut. We're going to use this. So we have head and we have head X. So now I want to take the body. And let's go here and let's go to blending and turn the opacity down. So now we can see what's happening uh, within the cylinder. So let's take the head. Let's go to head X. This one, this is the one we're gonna cut. Let's go make it a blending and turn it down some. So now when I make it a little bit bigger, you can see where the other one is. So we'll just make it a little bit bigger like this. Sometimes I bring it a little lower. So we'll do something like that. So make sure to turn everything back to opaque. Tap on that, turn it back to opaque. So now we just take the head X. The X is the cut. That's the bigger one. And then we take the body and then we hide head X. And usually when you get to this point, what I like to do is just save because sometimes the program likes to crash. So now we have these two and we're just gonna voxel remiss them together. So we go voxel. We'll just put it on 224, that's fine. So now, we have the head, which is the key. We have this, which is the cut. And let's say that you, you know, you're printing this and you don't want to, you know, put the head on the wrong way or anything like that. Uh, here's another thing that I do to the key and everything else can say the same, but I actually do like to do this for uh, the keys. I find it a little bit easier. So you can just take this part, clone it, so I'll just move it out a little bit and then shrink it this way. And now you have like a nice like keyway. So when you make the cut, this shape will be cut out so you can only put it in this way. And then you would do everything the same and then it would only go in one way. So I think that's a, that's called a keyway. I use this a lot nowadays. All right, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Also, if you know another way to make a box, 
tapered and have the symmetry down the middle, which is uh, the way that I like it, let me know. Let me know what I'm missing. I'm always missing something.